All right, I'm here now with uh, Nitrogen K, I'll just call you that. Yep. Uh, you do a quick intro on yourself and tell us what we're going to be looking at here. Yeah, I'm Nitrogen. I, I'm product of the product marketing for Open RAN and SMO. Okay. So we are, what we're talking and about... And Open RAN is a pretty new space for you guys, right? Being in the RAN area. Yes, it's yeah. a space that we have got in about a couple of years back. Yes, yeah. absolutely a new space, yes. Yeah. So what we are talking about is how service providers can achieve new levels of service agility, automation and operational efficiency by unlocking intelligence and value in the RAM. So we are focusing mainly on RAN intelligent controller and service management orchestration. I'll start with the RAN intelligent controller. So Juniper provides a open and interoperable RAN intelligent controller platform which is fully compliant with ORAN Alliance interfaces and specifications. You can onboard third-party X apps and R apps which gives kind of flexibility and choice of suppliers to service providers. So basically we are covering three use cases. The admission control and traffic steering use case is something that we have demonstrated in Vodafone Turkey in a live commercial network. You would have seen the press release last week and we have energy savings which we demonstrated with PISA. Okay, so I can walk you through one of those use cases real quick. Sure. So admission control kind of provides priority user services to a specific category of users, let's say public safety or uh, schools, hospitals, etc. So this was the setup on which we validated. We have the Juniper near real-time brick, non-real-time brick. We had X apps and R apps coming from Juniper and Parallel Wireless was providing the radio network here. All right. So let's start with the use case. So we have a cityscape, we have a rural area, we have a suburban area here. So we first start deploying the admission control. So we are now deploying the admission control R app. Okay, we will deploy uh, deploy the admission control X app, which is trying to make. And, uh, and it's then fully automated, I noticed, right? Yeah, basically yeah. we just need to deploy the app so that it's all running. And now we start the use case. So the tenant that we're talking about is a public safety tenant here. Okay. And uh, he has subscribed for 2,000 UEs as the SLA, right? So, uh, so we, we don't have any uh, emergency right now. So the default allocation is 1,000 UEs in the suburban area, 1,000 UEs in the rural area. And the number of active UEs is less than these numbers. So there is no rejections here. Let's say now I have an emergency. So I have an emergency in the rural area. So you have first responders, fire safety personnel and others coming in. So suddenly you will see a kind of a spike here, right? The number of active UEs in the rural area has gone up to 1,000, and some UEs are also getting rejected here. So this is where RIC kind of comes into picture. So the R app gets triggered by an external admission server, or it can detect that these UEs are getting rejected and immediately increase the allocation that is available for rural oh. area from 200 to... And it does that automatically? Automatically. Oh. So, which means, of course, you can... And that's been a pro big problem with wireless operators in the past, right? Is, right. Is, right. Is, uh, Right. They run out of spectrum and, you know, and then yeah. the service quality goes down and, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. right. And the number of uh, rejected UEs come to zero. So yeah. now your emergency situation has gone away. You go back to your default allocation of 1,000 each. Hmm. So basically you're able to kind of dynamically allocate network resources without trying to kind of over-provision at any place. Yeah, and that was the norm before. Right. You either ran with poorly provisioned <laughs> Or you over provisioned, right? right. In which case, your network has been underutilized most of the time. Absolutely, yeah. right. And you're automatically op optimizing it based on the real time data. And the applications, once developed, you can run it anywhere. You don't need to have vendor specific implementation because this is open RAM, right? So that's it. So I will uh, I'll go back to another use case. I think um, at this time, I'll go, to, uh, yeah, I'll go to the service management orchestration demo. Sure. Just to give you a brief overview of what it is about. So let's look at why do you need this new approach to service management orchestration. So basically, uh, the management and orchestration of telecom networks is becoming more complex, primarily because of the following reasons. One is evolving architectures. Service providers are moving from closed monolithic systems to open virtualized um, architectures. And with 5G and ORAN, your network is, your services are going to be delivered from thousands of clouds and tens and thousands of edge sites, unlike where you had physical network functions earlier. And service providers also want to kind of spin up custom services on demand, something that they want to spin up something for a few hours or so, and be able to deliver them under SLAs and charge them money as to serve right, as a right, service yeah. basis. So to simplify this complexity, Juniper has come up with this ORAN service management orchestration system, which is fully compliant to 3GPP, TMF, and uh, open RAN standards. 
So we, it implements RAN network slice management function, which is uh, 3GPP defined. We have the non-real-time RIC, the near-real-time RIC, and we have the FOCOM and NFO functions, which actually take care of orchestrating the functions on top of this, uh, on top of the cloud. So what we are talking about here is that we are taking an example of Barcelona. We have a regional cloud. We have three edge clouds with the associated ORUs. And we are going to deploy and manage slices for an enterprise and an industry here. And we will be covering the entire life cycle, uh, starting from the preparation phase where you are going to onboard cloud infrastructure, design network slices, design uh, services, slice creation, slice activation, monitoring the slice, and then slice termination. So this is what we are going to be speaking to customers, partners, and industry analysts like you for the next three days at Barcelona. So happy to take any questions. Yeah, and so how's this been received so far? It's been pretty good. We had already yeah. had a couple of customers who have been here, and of course, there's going to be more discussions that's yeah. going to follow. Yeah. Well, good. And uh, what I like about this, and I was talking to Rami about this earlier, is just that the RAN is an area that a lot of people have thought was kind of a commodity, yep. right? but you're driving a lot of innovation into it now to allow it to do things the service providers couldn't do before. So. Absolutely. So, all right, well, that was great. So thanks, appreciate the Thank time. You. Thanks.